Okay, let's start by creating a new canvas. Click on your plus at the top right corner, and we're gonna do a 3000 by 3000. So you can just click on the little black folder there. It'll come up with this screen here. Type in 3000 by 3000 and hit create. And there we are. Our new canvas ready to go. Uh, I have provided everything that you will need to follow along with this tutorial. If you look in the description below, you can download all of the things for free. I've got it set up on Gumroad, where you just put zero in there if you'd like. You can also put in a dollar or two if you are enjoying the videos and want to contribute to the channel and help me to keep bringing these free tutorials to you every week. So what we're going to start off with is, like I usually do, is I've given you two sketches, one with grid lines and one without grid lines where you will be able to choose to your level however you want to do the tutorial. If you're new to Procreate and you're new to drawing, click on the little wrench icon up here, add, insert a photo, and you can load up the photo with no grid lines. You should not have to resize it because the sketch I give you is also 3000 by 3000 so just hit the little arrow and you'll be loaded up so what you can do from here is you can start a new layer drag that under your sketch you can take the opacity by hitting the little N right there and taking the opacity on the sketch all the way down so you can barely see it and then you can write draw over the top of it you can trace it uh, or you could just leave it at full full color and you can just start coloring it in so that way it will let you get started uh, doing tutorials if you have no experience whatsoever okay so let's clear that out and show you the second way you can do this so click the little wrench icon again go to canvas and this time we're going to hit reference we're going to hit image and we're going to import an image and you're going to import the one with grid lines and then we can drag that over here on the side we can put our canvas on the right or you can situate it wherever however you like and now we can use this as a reference to draw over to here now if you want to get these grid lines on your canvas that are just like the ones here click on the wrench turn on drawing guide edit your drawing guide and the grid size is 299 hit done done again and there your grid lines over here and your grid lines over here are exactly the same so what this does if you've never drew with grid lines before you can tell where to go so for example uh, let me see where am I at here so we're down to the third square so one two three right here so what I can do now let me put it on black let me get my sketch pencil drawing no sketching there we go I'm gonna just load up the 6b pencil and then what you can see you can look at the squares here and you can oops that didn't do right you can just follow where your lines and the face comes down to about right here so you can see I just kind of gives you a little guide where you're able to put things in and it makes it a little bit easier okay so that's another skill level that you can do this at um, if you uh, have lots of experience you can load up the reference photo with no grid lines and you can just look at it over here and draw it over here uh, if you know what this guy looks like to begin with you can just draw it out of your imagination if that's if you're able to do that so let's get started uh, I have provided everything that you will need like I said before two sketches I will provide the color palette that I use and I will provide the brushes that I use 
Um, so you'll get some custom brushes too. So think about throwing some tips towards my way so we can keep this train going. We're doing really well, uh, gaining tons of subscribers. I've started the channel about a month and a half ago and we're up to, I think it's 164 subscribers already. So growing so quickly, it's amazing. Okay, let's get started on this sketch here. All right, so let me look at my grid lines here. And you could also just like load your canvas up exactly to the same size if you'd like, or you can make it bigger over here. You kind of match that up. I know we were down on the third, third square, so about like that should be it. And then from the edge over here, we're... Uh, if we want to start on the head, we're one, two, three, four. The fifth square is where his head's going to start going. So one, two, three, four. Head's going to be here. One, two, three, four, five. And then down, we're down one, two, three. So one, two, three. So we're right here. That's where his head's going to be. Okay, so we're going to look at this. Let me get rid of this. Okay. All right, let's get started. So we're going to come up right there and another line up here. So remember, this is just your sketch, so you don't have to be perfect. Although it's one of my downfalls. I always try to be too perfect on my sketch, which takes up a lot of extra time. That's why these videos are probably so long. Okay. Get kind of square, square strands of hair on this guy. To tell you the truth, I haven't in, haven't even watched this program. So I don't know anything about it. Let me know in the comments if you guys are fans of Demon Slayer. And what, what do you like about it? I'd be curious to know. Jay's little mouth is going to go about right there. Two little nostrils. And then an eye. Maybe here. Another one. Over here. I'm going to fix all this when we start doing the inking part. Okay, we got his shoulder. Down it right there. Um, about right there. Okay, and I'm going to get this sword going up here. You want it? Actually, it cuts off about right there. Then we're going to go up through this one, through that one.
Looks like it comes to about right here. Am I doing this wrong? Uh, one over and then right here. Yeah, I'm doing it wrong. So this should be coming up to about right here. And then down that way. There we go. That's proportion now. Okay, let's move this back. Okay, and we have a little handle there, I guess. Let me make it a little bit bigger. My eyes are not the best. Okay. That's straighten out. When you leave your pencil too long on the canvas, it, it will straighten your line out automatically. And that is not what I want. Okay. We got this line coming up about right there. It's a pretty intricate sketch. Got a lot of details in it. We got some of these triangle decorations here. Maybe that's a a button. What the one there? Okay, I think it's coming along pretty good. Let's go down the side here now. So. You have another hand. Oops. Accidentally changed the color to white. Does that sometimes? Okay, let's get these triangles on here. Probably not going to get all of these details in here but we get enough of them to make it look good i'll be happy all right and we got a belt it's coming across about right here looks good all right let's go over this side over here Okay, and this sleeve for his hand comes all the way over there. This coming up right here. There you go, all looking good. Okay, we got a kind of a crease wrinkle on his clothes. You're right there. Okay, let's get a little triangles in here now. It doesn't really matter, you know, whether you get them perfect. It's just decoration. Okay, a sleeve. Let 
about right there. We're going to have to get it arm up like that. Okay. All right. I'm happy with that. Let's go. Let's move on down here now. Looks good. And this sleeve comes down and connects with that. More triangles. All right. Okay, let's see what else we got here. This come down to about right here and then shoot off down there. There we go. And you can see how doing it with these grid lines makes things a little bit easier for you. I could do it without the grid lines, but it would take a lot longer, and there would have to be a lot of editing done. I really don't like to edit the videos much. I like to leave in. I had one of the viewers say that they loved how I did the videos because even I left the mistakes in, which helped them learn also what to do, you know, when you make a mistake, how to recover it from it. And I think that is was a good observation I think I know a lot of people like to edit their videos where they're just perfect and they have nothing no mistakes and I am very mistake prone probably the biggest one is on the wrong on the wrong uh, layer when you're drawing done so many times Okay, this is going to come out about right there. And then we got, looks like his scabbard here. Where he keeps his sword at. Comes down to about right there. Okay. And I guess that's going to go up to about right here. And it looks like this part of his jacket's going to go over it right there. So all this part here don't really need it. All right, and then we got some more triangles over here. Okay, looks good. And maybe a wrinkle here, and we got some wrinkles there. All right, let's get these feet down, and we will be almost done. Get this a little bit bigger. Let's see what's going on down here. Like little bow ties here. I cut his foot off a little bit too much. All right. 
think that's good enough. All right, and then over here. That came down too far. Let me go back. So his foot is coming about right here. And the sandals. Here we go. Oh, they're bow tie. I'm calling them bow ties. I don't know what they if they are bow ties, but look like them. All right, let's look at that. Yeah, I think that's proportioned pretty well. Head looks. Maybe I just got the. Let me put this the same size. Yeah, it looks proportioned. All right, so there we go. So now, I don't need this reference photo anymore, so I'm going to turn that off. It's going to go away. And then, let's get onto the next phase of this and start inking this thing in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the opacity down on it and then we're going to ink in under it. And I'm trying to change it to black but it's being contrary here. There we go. It's a pure black and I think we're going to do the mono line on this one. Mono line brush, make sure I'm not on the right level. Or I am. I just had the opacity down on it. I'm going to go ahead and lock my sketch. That way I do not accidentally draw on it and the way you do that is you slide to the left and you can hit lock and now it makes it impossible to draw on it so now we'll go under here on the model line brush let's make sure the size is good that's way too big uh two percent yeah i think that's good we go down to 2%. All right. Now let's get to inking this thing in here. All right. So let me see. We're going to go here, here. You know, I don't want to. I'm using this model line as a sketch, and that's not what you want. All right. Um, over to his face. All right, let's do this. For here. Be careful too when you when you're doing this inking part. You want to make sure all of your lines are closed, because if they are not, when it comes to the coloring stage, it's going to make it really difficult for you. Okay. 
Okay. Like how that ended up. If you're new to Procreate, if you want to undo something, just double tap it. You can fix in the settings how you want your program to to operate. You can add in a lot of extra shortcuts to suit your needs. Have a neck right here. Okay, let's do this. Right. Good, looking good. Um, that didn't end up right, did it? Instead of doing that whole line, I'm going to erase this. Because I like the other part of it. Just that last part didn't work out too well. Okay, we're going to come up. Like that. And then our sleeve. I'm going to come over there. I said I didn't want to get the major parts in. Then we can go in and do the little small details later on. Okay, this is going to come from about here. Oh. Then that goes down to about right there. This comes up over and then this connects to that. There we go. Okay, and then the scabbard is going to come and meet up to about right here. So I think I need to do that angle a little bit different. So if that scabbard is going to meet to about right here, and hold the pencil down and let it make that straight. Straight line. There we are. That's a little bit better. Okay, and then we got this little edge on it. You got like a line coming down to right there and this coat is going to go over it so well this to show that it's going over it all right and then looks like we have a, like a little decoration something right there on it okay looks good okay now this part here In the coat. It's going to come. About right there. Good.
pull around. Come up to about right there. And then the jacket. I guess it's kind of a lapel right there. It's going to come and probably connect with that right there. And then his very loose sleeve is going to come to about right there. And then we're going to have another part like that. Yep, that's good. Okay, and now his arm coming out of the sleeve. Mm -hmm. He's got like a like a white shirt under that part. Okay. And then his hand. His fingers are very blocky. Which that's good though. Cause I don't know about you guys, but hands are not easy. All right, and his other hand is coming out right here. Again, that white t-shirt looking, saying actually it's not a t-shirt, it's long sleeve, white shirt, knuckles. And again, these blocky fingers up to his hand. In the bottom of the sword with some little tassels okay I think we've got all the elements that we want in that like I say we can add details a little bit later okay let me see how this sword it's gonna come out of his hand let me make sure this line is lining up I want the sword to look white wonky okay armed a little bit's coming out and then it's got that kind of a curvish to it that don't look right because his finger should be over it I might need to let this finger come out a little more. Here we go. All right, and then... Make the hand guard. You got a square part right there. This is just more close. Okay, let's get this, hold this line straight. I'm gonna hold the pin down and get a perfect line. I'm gonna connect those two. There we go, that looks good. Okay, let's go down here on the close. Okay, let's just go ahead and connect that right there. Okay, and now his bridges. We're very baggy. Billowing pants. Oops. That's why I don't know if you if you have been drawing with Procreate for a while. Probably know some kind of things that it does a lot is if when you put your palm on it, it 
it double taps it by automatically and which is an undo which you don't want so to alleviate those kind of things if you want to get you one of those drawing gloves which I have but for some reason I just don't have it on right now but I might put it on a little bit later okay and then pants gonna come up oops yeah I don't like how any of those lines turned out I mean we can fix all this up by eraser I just don't like to leave so much stuff like that it just bothers me okay on one pants are gonna meet up about right here All right, and then the jacket gonna connect right there. Okay, looks good. Let's get these lines in. Well, let's put a belt in here. So we got a belt from here and the buckle. Like that. Looks good. And here we can't really see it much because of his long sleeves are coming down here okay that looks good it looks like we got a big button there another one here and a line is coming down right here which probably signifies his shirt okay let's put these lines in okay let's get his shoes or boots on the floor start over here and make sure I'm on the right brush on the line. We go. Keep it kind of angly. Then his foot will be probably kind of like that. And then we're going to do a sole. Like that, and then the thong part of his slippers. Yeah, it looks good. All right, let's get these decorations on here. Bow ties. And then we got like a big diamond. Another bow tie here. And another diamond here. And there's some triangles. I might put one there. Okay, I like it. All right, this one, I want to fix this a little bit. It's a little bit thin. So I'm going to come out here and not come in so far. What's that? Yeah, I think it's a little bit better. I'm just not quite as fat as that one is over there. Maybe we'll thin this one up a little bit. About that. Maybe a little bit better. And then this shoe. There's foot gonna come down about right here. I and then the sole. Until it shoots off the back there. Now this thong part will come here. And then his toe is gonna be in like that. And then it's gonna shoot off over here and connect right there. 
Come on. Go back up here to his ankle. All right, that's good. And then... Should have a bow tie here on the bottom. And maybe some little diamonds. Another bow tie here. Another diamond. Of course, another bow tie and then a big diamond. And then we'll do some triangles maybe that's good and then this and then you can have a line going across this way same thing over here like that and then maybe around this bottom I don't like that do it right here. All right, I think that's good. Okay, so let's start on our coloring process. So what you're going to do is uh, make sure that your lines, and you can see some colors. This is the second time I'm doing this because my phone ran out of space, so that's why you see colors here. But we're going to do it all over again so you can see it again. So this... Uh, inking layer that we just did you want to make sure that's set as reference so right there turn out and it should say reference on it what that's going to do is we're going to start a color flat down here and then it's going to use those lines in the reference as to where the colors go in so it's going to limit the colors to those blocks that's why you want to make sure like i said before that everything's closed in we're probably going to find Maybe some things that are not closed in, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. So let's get started with that. We're going to do all of our color flats. So let's do his hair. And then, uh, where is this neat soup palette? There it is. So his hair is yellow. So we're going to do that. Drop that in. Over here on this side. Good. Uh, skin color. That is this peachy color. Got that in his hands. Good. Maybe right. Here's some more hand. This side of the shirt's got it. I think that is all the skin color we got. Yep. Okay, and then the top of his color here is this gray color. Drop that in. Okay. Uh, his... Inside, inside shirt here is the brown color. And that's going to be this lighter brown. I'm going to put it here and here. The pants also. All brown. That looks good. Maybe a socks while we're on brown. Get his socks colored in and right there. Heel part right there. Okay. And over here we got there, there, and there. Okay. And these diamond shapes are also brown. Not the triangles, the diamonds. Boop. Left it open right there. Knew we'd find one. Go black, go back to my reference layer, close that up, and we'll we'll worry about that later we, when we color that part in. But now we know it's closed. Okay, so the jacket here, uh, actually his sleeves are also this brown color. So this part, this part, and that is it. This to the yeah this one too he's gonna have a white long sleeve shirt there and this right here is also oops and we leave something open maybe right there so go back to reference close that in 
And what part colored in? I didn't want this orange part. So that's supposed to be this light orange. No, I dropped it on a line. What's going on? No reference. Okay, let's back up, let's fix this mistake. Okay, now where, see where that gap was at? And the brown part was supposed to be here. What else? That's it, I don't know what went wrong there. But anyway, we're good now. Yep. Okay, let's go to the orange again. That light orange here. And his jacket is all this orange color. Yeah, that, that worked. That Tom. Okay, and maybe one of these is a triangle. Or actually the top portion of this, I made a mistake. The top portion of this is the yellow color. Same color as his hair. So that one and this one. Then also that and that. Yeah. Okay. The uh, top part, or actually the middle part of his socks, or his whatever this thing is, leggings is yellow, and then the top and bottom part is orange. Uh-oh, see my mistake right there. So I'm gonna undo, select black, go back to our reference layer, close that up, go back to our color layer, choose that orange again, there we go. My yellow over there, I missed that part. And then back to orange for the bottom part. Good. And same thing over here. That's orange and that's orange and we got a... Oh, that's what I made a mistake last time. Okay, so now we can color in. Okay, the bow ties are white and the triangles are white. So that's all good. Uh, but I'm going to tell you, show you something that it's not really good. Uh, this one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, upper one, will be the inside of his jacket. Right there and right there. And then his scabbard here is going to be this gray right there. Okay, and this part here, that part's white. Uh, this part is orange, and this part is a little bit darker orange, so if you stay on your orange here and go to classic down here, you can slide this, make it darker, and interrupt that in so it's a little bit dark, not more, a little bit more. Here we go. Okay, his belt is all white. All the triangles are white. Sure, it's white. Let's do a sword now. Um, I guess the bottom part here, we're going to make it orange. Something is not right. That's supposed to be brown. Just color it in by hand. Okay. Um, this part here is white, but... Has some lines on it. Let's put some lines on it there. And the upper portion of this is also white with lines. Okay, this hand guard is going to be a gray color under it. And then the top part's gonna to be an orange. Okay, that's good. 
Uh, and this part's going to be the gray color again. And then the blade itself... Man, maybe just continue with this gray color. I wonder if there's a lighter... I'll go back to our palette again. Maybe this color that was the inside of his jacket. Yeah, I like that. It kind of breaks it up a little bit. Okay, I think all of our colors are done, but let's... His eye color is going to be this kind of goldish color. I'm going to drop that in for right now. I'm going to fix those up. Now, the white parts, they're not really white. It's the background's white, so change the background color to something else. Maybe. Now you can see all the parts that are not actually white, that look white. So now we'll be able to see. Drag and drop it, hit continue filling, and you can just click on them. Makes things a whole lot easier. We have the tassels here. His shirt. I don't think the buttons, the belt, definitely. Okay, maybe right there. Buttons are going to be a gray. Okay. Over here. That, we might have to go back and put those lines again. Yeah, looks like we're going to. Okay. I think... Almost done. Not yet. Oops. Bow ties. And those straps. And the bottoms of his shoes. I'll go ahead and put white in there for right now. I forgot. Oops. That. Over here. Let me see if I missed anything. Maybe she needs eyes. I want to color that in and not drop it. I'm going to work on these eyes. I don't like them. I'll work on those a little bit later. Okay, and then let's do this gray color for the buttons. All right, now we've got all of our color flats in. And I'm going to go back to the reference color and put these black lines in on the sword again. That way they'll be on top of everything. And up here. Okay, that's good. All right, let's do our shadows next. So what you're going to do is on top of your color flats, you're going to make another layer. It's going to be shadows. Set it to black, black. And I'm going to go to the string liner here, the anchor string liner. I'm going to provide you with all of these. Uh, okay, so the shadows are going to come from here down to here, here, and then down to there. And on this line, And then all along the bottom here, these are going to connect to about right there. You're going to have a light patch right here. You're going to have another light patch right there. And all the rest of this is going to be filled in here on the bottom. Getting closer. Make sure we get all these edges. Mm 
Okay. Um, all of this also. Yep, just like that. Okay, and then up here, we're going to have a light patch about right here. I'm going to have another one. Maybe on this line here. And then all the rest of it's going to be black. Could probably find a better brush to color this in with, but oh no, I lost it. If you if you do something mistake and then you hit something else and then you try to go back, it won't do it. That's what happened there. Again, if I was wearing my glove, that wouldn't be happening. Okay, that's going to come up, and all the rest of this is going to be in black. But not really black, and you're going to see what I'm talking about. Will you quit? Okay, guys, gloves going on. It's getting aggravating. Okay. All the way up to the belt. I bet you're thinking, you're covering up the tassels. Oh no. We're going to fix all that. And this is just an easy way to shade. There's other ways to do it that looks a little bit better. But we're going to do the easy ways today. All right, so all of that is our shadow. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go to that layer, and you're going to hit the little end, and you're going to take that opacity down. Now you can see it's starting to look like shadows. And all that stuff that we covered up before is showing again, like the little tassels and the lines and stuff. So that's how you can do the shadows. Okay, we're going to do some shadows here. Bottom of that. I didn't want it on the orange here, so just erase it. Okay, and then all this shirt here probably going to be shadowed. Okay, uh, why is that sleeve doing that? Did I put that brown on another layer? I did, didn't I? Bitch, I put it on the reference layer, didn't I? Yep, I did. So, unfortunately... That's not going to work because I can't lower the opacity on the reference layer. All right, we'll fix that. I'll show you how to fix it. Uh, sure, this part here. No. Back on the reference layer. Back on our shadow layer. Right here. It's going to be shadow and right here. Actually, all that neck part, because it's going to be under his chin. Right? So, yeah, the, as far as the gray part, and then the inside of the jacket here. Here. Up to here. So, you can see, guys, that mistake I made. I was on the reference layer, the line layer, when I filled those colors in right there. So, that's kind of messed us up a little bit, but I'll show you how to fix it. Probably this is going to be in shadow too. Inside of his jacket, probably in here too. That's the inside of the coat. Okay, and again, I don't want it on the orange here. So I'm going to erase that back off. 
back to black. Make sure you got all this stuff perfectly in there. Okay, so that's good. Um, probably ear and this side of the face. I feel like the lights coming from the top left up here. So maybe the back side of this sword. Right there. Or maybe this part too. And then you can just tell where the overlaps are. You know, that's going to be throwing a shadow. Look at this sleeve here. Oh, we're going to have a shadow. All under that right there. Okay, and then this over the scabbard. Probably going to have a shadow right there. I remember when I first started doing this, it was like, had no idea where to put the shadows at, but just keep working at it, and it's it'll start to come natural for you. You'll you'll see like this is overlapping the shirt, so that's probably going to be casting a shadow there and right here. Then, again, we can't do on that sleeve because it got on a different layer. I think that's about it. Maybe right here, these billowy pants. We'll be casting a shadow on the top part of the leggings here. Same thing over here. Okay, and then maybe the soles. We'll leave a little bit of light there. Maybe the straps. The thong. Going to be casting a shadow on the sock. That bow might be that right there. So yeah, you can just, I don't know if this bow is sticking out or if it's like part of the fabric. So I'm just going to maybe do a couple there. The belt, that's already all shadowed in. So can't put any more shadow on that. I think that's it. Maybe right here for the sleeve. Yeah, I think that's good. Uh, maybe here under the hair. Well, hairs might be casting a shadow on his face. All right. All right, I think that's it. Uh, now, how we can fix this, uh, what I'm going to do is click that brown, go to classic, and then we're just going to darken a little bit. And maybe put the color up a little bit. Let's see what that looks like. And then go back to our reference layer. Yeah, that's good. So now, we can put this shadow in where we wanted it under the... And remember, you're on top of the reference layer again, so you're going to go on top of your lines. So you got to be really careful not to go on top of those lines. If you do it a little bit, it won't hurt, but you, you want it to be still coming through. So there we go. Not perfect, but when you zoom out, you won't be able to really see it. There we go. So that's how you can fix that. Okay, now let's do some highlights. So we're going to do the same thing like we did on the shadows. We're going to do a, a layer. And this time I'm going to go all white. Make sure it's all the way white. And then the lights coming in from here. Probably going to be some light on his hair here. Maybe on that other side of the sword. I don't like that. That's better. Maybe this side of the jacket. Could 
maybe on top of his hands here, maybe the side of his face, maybe a little here and a little there. Could be on the top here. Just kind of use your imagination. And the lighting, the highlights are going to be much, much, much less than the shadows. So I think that's going to be about enough. Now we're going to take the opacity down so it's not so brilliantly white. And yeah, it looks good. Looks really good. Okay, I'm going to put some details in the hair here now. So I'm going to do a layer on top of the color flats and go pure black. And we're going to go back to our Inker Streamliner and probably set the, oh, I mean the, the size of it down to about four. All right, we're going to put some Y. There we go. Oh, it's on the, the highlights on top of that. Okay. So I need to go even higher. So go all the way up. There we go. Oops. Came off the hair. Let's put some details. Look like it's strands of hair. And you can just do as much as you want until you think it looks good. I think that's good enough. All right, now, one thing is we're going to go back to the orange color. We're going to maybe start a layer right on top of the color flats. And make that brush a little bigger now. Oops, don't want to on his face. All this under here is orange. Maybe he dyes it that way. We're going to have kind of a line going across, but it's not going to be even because of all the different levels of hair. So we're gonna, we want a line kind of going across here, but not like meeting each other. So kind of like this. So you can see the lines going across, but they're not all meeting. Okay, and then all of this. Yep. And then maybe put some highlights in his hair here some orange I think that's good all right I think we're winding it down here now um let do something with these eyes real quick I'm gonna fix these eyes off camera because the video is already way too long so um you can just kind of look at some anime eyes anime eyes and and kind of see how they got them going I'm gonna do a soft brush and kind of Lighten this up under it with an airbrush. And then with a darker brown, I'm going to go along the top. Okay. Um, always make sure you get some highlights in the And if you want, you can go on top of the reference layer. That will go on the eye, line of the eye.
which kind of makes a big difference. So I'm going to work on those off camera. I don't want the video to be so long, but anyway, there you go. Let's change our background color back to something that looks a little bit better. Maybe that greenish color there. And there we are. Uh, I want to thank you guys for joining me as always. Uh, channel is growing like crazy. Uh, only a month and a half. We're already up to 164 subscribers. So I'm just shocked that people find uh, what I'm doing interesting and it makes me really happy. So again, guys, uh, support the channel. Uh, when you go to Gumroad and download the things you need for the tutorial, just put in a dollar or two in there and help out the channel. We can keep these free tutorials coming to you every week. I do new videos every day, new long form tutorial every Friday. And that's going to do it. Thank you so much for your support, and I will see you next week.